Hello, planner friends. Welcome back to my channel. Um, and if this is the first time, welcome to my little space. Um, I am going to just do a quick flip. Um, I realized it's like so far into June and I feel like I'm usually really quick on um, like filming and uploading these, but I have not filmed anything, or it's far into July now. Um, I have not filmed anything as far as like a June flip. So I thought I would film that really quick. Um, there's nothing really exciting in each of them, um, all the planners like that I'm going to flip through. Usually I would like separate this in between like two videos, but I think it'll go by very fast. Um, June was the month where I just like kind of fell out of planning a little bit. Um, I guess you could call it, I don't know. So I'm just going to first flip through my Hobonichi um, as far as June. So I don't even have like, like I was so done with June, I just <laughs> clipped it all off. This was June as far as the monthly. I didn't even like finish capping it all off, which is fine. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go forth here. So June starts, that's May, right? May, May. Oh, I messed up with the little dot or with the little page marker. So here's June. Um, the first week of June, it really starts with the 29th of May and then goes all the way down. Um, this is when, oh, my mom came into town. Um, the girls were all still in school. I was like early in um, some like heavy work stuff. What did we do? This is when we really started like playing outside a lot because um, the weather was just so nice. Um, again, I had like FaceTime my mom and talked about maybe having her fly out for a little bit uh, because the girls had like some time off from school and there was like recital stuff going on. Um, yeah, we ended up having her actually fly out, which was fun. And this is just like some stuff that we did. We had a birthday party. Um, like I said, we were in like full blown dance rehearsal prep at that point in time. So there's a lot of like dance where my da one daughter had to go and then my other daughter had to go some days and then some days both of them had to be there. I give it up to like true dance moms. I guess that I may fall into that branch now, but it was like a very recreational thing. I did not realize like how intense this schedule was. <laughs> Um, and now all three of them want to do it next year or like later this year. So I'm like, oh God, it's going to be a nightmare on my end, but it makes them happy. So it makes them happy. Um, it was my husband and I's 11 year like dating anniversary. So together for 11 years, um, we made some really significant payments toward our debt. Um, we booked like the last half of our big Jellystone trip for the summertime, which we're actually going to be going on here soon. Um, You'll see I either, either even had the intention of filming end of the month flips, and I never did. <laughs> Life just like got out of hand, I guess. I forgot. Um, and this is just really like plain Jane, but I kind of like it that way. Um, I just like highlighted work stuff. I highlighted dance recital stuff because again, like my mom was in town. There was, I, I was really in the thick of it at work with busyness. Um, my off day, like wasn't my off day. I still had to go into work and do things. My mom, uh, my mom was in town and then the, the dance recital prep, like there was just so much going on. So this really served as just like a little brain dump list on the side. Uh, I got really sick and finally went to medical and they gave me a ton of stuff. So I was just like really surviving and not thriving in June. June was a tough month for me physically, mentally, everything. Um, this week kind of picks it up a little bit more. I remember like doing this and then I never really went and like I went back and wrote this kind of stuff in. You can kind of tell like even down here. I um just like wrote a few memories. Frisbee um, in the front yard, playing with friends. We walked to the playground, s'mores. What else? Another Walmart run. Um, I had that ice cream social for my daughters, but I wasn't able to attend. My husband went with them though. Um, took some samples for like my old dog to the vet and then that was like the week of school being out so they had a lot of early dismissals and then their last day of school my daughter got a haircut oh my gosh I do remember now uh, my daughter got a haircut and then this day yeah massive thunderstorm it was like the first time they had ever really seen a loss of power sorry I'm opening my blinds um a loss of power and it ended up being on their last day of school and they all like freaked out because they were like oh it's a tornado we're all gonna die like Thanks YouTube, that taught them that tornadoes equal death and they were like freaking out about it. 
there wasn't even a tornado. It was just like a massive thunderstorm that somehow knocked the power out. Um, but then it all came back on. We were able to go to like a little movie night. It was, it was fine. So that like haircut got ended up pushed to another day. I think it was like that Saturday or something. I don't even know. Um, next week you'll see like I really fell out with this planner. Um, and then I just kind of like picked it right back up though the following week. So this week there's not much. This is like my honey-do list, but it was really just like both of us just, it was my brain dump list to be quite honest. I did like write some stuff in here and then I didn't like how any of it looked. So I covered it up with a lot of stickers. Um, I wish I would have like utilized this space down here a little bit more because it just like looks yucky. I wonder if I could just a little sticky note and then I'll go back and write something there. <laughs> I'll go back and write something. Um, I wrote some like little, that's been my thing lately. Like when funny things happen, I was like writing them in my planner on the side um, or like on this page just to remember funny things that my kids say. But now I have created a whole like funny things my kids say list. Um, I have one thing that my daughter said and I need to go back probably and put a few more things. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of boring and then it goes right into the final week of June moving into July and I really like how this week turned out. I'm not going to lie though. I went and back planned just a little bit of this, um, but that's okay. So I really started moving back into my planner this week, back planned a little bit, used it a little bit. Um, it was very exciting and now going forth, little like sneak peek into it. I'm very happy in my, um, Hobonichi weeks again. So that's exciting. Um, I don't have anything to show for the back because, uh, again, June, I was not really using this planner very much. And, oh God, I got like something on it. It was probably from my desk. Um, June, I was not using this planner very much. And so that reflects in those back pages a lot. Um, let's look at my Molsky because those kind of go hand in hand. Um, June, 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 June. All right, June, I um, got heavy using this again, like towards the end of May, and that reflects towards the beginning of June, um, up until like I got, finally went to the doctor and started taking meds and was sick, and then I fell out of it again. But, um, so the first couple days of June, um, this is again when I just had my work schedule, my daughter had like, my daughters and all their dance rehearsal things, um, these are my memory sticky notes from my shop. I just made these. Um, I was inspired by a friend on Instagram who like put memory lists in the back of her planner. And I was like, oh, it'd be fun to be able to like on days that you write a lot in your planner and you don't have space between your to-do list and your events and your appointments to put memories. So I designed this so that with all of that in mind that you could just like pop a little sticky note and you could put whatever day it was, if this was like on a weekly, and then you could write a couple memories from that day. Like if your kid had like a really funny moment or you had a date night with your spouse, but like leading up to that, you had to do all of this work stuff and then house stuff and then get ready for the babysitter and pass all this information. So your dailies or your weeklies are filled with all of these important to-dos. You could at least put a little memory sticky note and they'll stick right in there. Um, so I, those are like one of my most favorite items in my shop right now. Um, but yeah, I use just a lot of little stickers. Everything really looks the same. My mom came into town. Um, I remember my daughter. Oh yeah, this is for that. Um, my daughter knew that my one daughter knew that my mom was in town because she was like so nosy and she's just smart and she can spell everything and she picks up on all these social cues, even though we try to keep it a secret. Um, but my other two were super surprised and they kind of like stared at her because they're like, is that really her? Um, Sunday and Monday we, I was off it looks like, yeah. And so we just like had big family days with me, the girls and my mom, just like a big girls day. Did all of the things, literally all of the things. Um, and then Monday was like back at school. I gave them the option to stay home, but they didn't want to, which is fine. Um, they had a field day, which they didn't want to miss, which was very cute. So we just kind of like pretended we were tourists with my mom and my youngest daughter and hung out a little bit. Um, this is when I finally went to medical and wrote down all of the meds that they gave me. I started my period. Like, I just was not feeling great in general. Um, mom back to the airport. Day off. Even though it wasn't my day off, I had things to do. Um, I put things I cooked. What else? Just a lot of notes. 
And then this is when it was just like an empty day, didn't really do much. This is kind of cute. I put a little memory. I like to try and highlight the memory sometimes. I'll put things like for family members that I want to check in with them on. Um, this was the ice cream social. I meant to go back in and like write something funny. Um, my husband, like I said, my husband's the one that went. So I wanted to just like write about it. Following day, ran four miles with my husband. Like we started, we've been trying to like get into running together because I want to get into running. And so he's of course very supportive. He's like, I'll do it with you. And we have fun doing it. So this is like when we started running longer distances, probably not a good idea considering I had just been diagnosed with bronchitis. Um, I ran four miles with my husband. We just put the one baby in the, the, the stroller. Um, but now that they're all home, it's a little bit harder to do it. But it was something we started to really enjoy doing together. Um, and we'll be able to really keep it up once all of them are in school after summer. Um, here you can see I really fell out. And I'm using these as just like brain dump lists. So this will be like a packing list for part of our vacation. Um, meal ideas for that vacation. We're going to the boardwalk one day. Things I need to pack for it. Prime day, I'm going to put all of the things that we bought for prime day. And just kind of like check them off as they come. Um packing list for the second part of our vacation and then that's really it and then it goes into July so that's how I used that and then last but not least and I say that because I kind of stopped using this it makes me really sad and every time I touch it is when I get inspired to use it so I went back and started for like July putting things in it but um I don't know it's like one of those things every time I touch it I love it but I just don't pick it up a lot so june i started playing around nope not even this was really july so i don't really have much to show in here but as far as oops but as far as um is that in june it is one second let me put a little sticky note down so i don't show information that i don't want to share <laughs> what these sticky notes are for anyways um, so these are other sticky notes that I have in my shop that I put down just to cover like sensitive information so this is the month that I really did use I think a lot of my yeah this looks like so used um I really leaned heavy on my Comet 30. So moving in to this month, I kind of taped in a lot of birthday party stickies um, or invitations because I do want to go back and like, I can journal about them if I want or they're just like fun little bits of like ephemera, I guess you could say, <laughs> just like memory keeping. Um, and then some of these like from my actual shop, I'll put little um, memories on as well. So a lot of this is going to sound and look exactly the same, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but you'll see kind of how I like separate my days a little bit more in a vertical planner as opposed to the horizontal planner. So I really just like, I don't use this as like chronological as much as um, it is just like a big list. So like sometimes when I have like big chunks of time that I have to work, I'll kind of try and separate them a little bit, but I'm not like... Sometimes I'll just put stuff at the top and then I'll put a time sensitive thing at the bottom. It just really depends. Um, I'm not married to any idea of using it any specific way just because it's a vertical. And that's taken a lot of time to get to that point because for a while I couldn't use vertical because of that. I was like, how am I gonna like write out the day? Like if I don't leave enough room at the top, I'm just gonna be flustered because I can't you I can't write like something that happened later in the day. Like it just hurt my brain, but I've really tried to let go of that idea, um, and it's helped a lot. <laughs> so you'll see this is the same week if you're still kind of tracking from what I had in my other planners. Um, this is that same week of like the field day and the recitals and rehearsals and stuff. Um, I have, again, just like a little sticky note for here or a little memory keeping from the costume checklist and then I'm not going to open this because on the other side has all that sensitive information actually you know what I can 
just put one of these down again. <laughs> one second, let me get that off camera so I don't show anything. Um, not that there's a lot to show anyways, I didn't put too much in here. Um, you could tell I was like just getting back to starting like being really sick and I just didn't keep up with all of the things, which is fine. Um, then the next week kind of got back into it a little bit, a lot of it, I guess you could say, I just like, again, I put a lot of things like just because this car deals in the middle of the day doesn't mean that it happened in the middle of the day. Um, but I do kind of try and big, put big things as far as work where they're supposed to go, but, um, everything else just kind of is what it is. And I've really had to, oh, I'm not even in frame. I really had to like let go of a lot just to be able to have that type of mindset because, um, yeah, it is, <laughs> it is hard when you're trying to get used to a new layout to, um, just get used to like how it looks and how it's supposed to feel. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I feel like you understand what I'm saying. Like that's the big difference between horizontal and vertical. Like if you're a strictly ver vertical kind of planner, you'll feel the same way about horizontal. Like where am I supposed to put all the things? Like should I separate either side and split down the middle? That's how I feel with um, vertical sometimes. But I really let go of a lot of that just to enjoy my planner. <sighs> Using it, like going and flipping through this again, it's like, oh my gosh. What am I doing in my Hobonichi when I could just use this full time again? <laughs> it's so funny. It's so, so funny. And then this is really that last week I did. We did a lot of things. Like all of these photos really are from that Saturday and Sunday. It was like the best weekend ever. Um, and so that's when both of those are really from. And then it goes into the next week or the next month. But that's really it. I didn't plan um, anything as far as like June... challenge um I tried one in this month and again I'm not doing great at it but I also haven't been using this planner for July as much so I need to maybe get back into that um but that's not what this is about I do want to go back maybe in my next video and like back plan some of these days just because I don't want um big chunks of time that you don't use a planner are fine um but I just want to, just for the fun of it, like, go back. We're only on this day. So I do want to go back and just kind of, like, fill in a few things maybe. Even if it's just, like, big chunks of memory keeping, that's fine too. Um, but I am really enjoying all of my planners. But heavy emphasis on just being totally enamored by my weeks again. Which is just a good feeling. Because coming back to my weeks is, like, coming back to home, I always say. Um... So it's always a good feeling. And this cover just makes me really happy. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. That is July, or I'm sorry, that is June in all of the planners that I'm really using right now. So I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great, great day and enjoy your summer or if it's, I don't know, winter where you're at. Who knows? Enjoy your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.